They're at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. The week has short passed and it means that the World of Startups team has another dose of valuable information in store for startuppers. My name is Seri Kokyshev. Watch us today. Echelon KZ Qualifier. Which Kazakh developer will represent our country at Echelon Asia Summit in Singapore? Timur and his crew, innovative projects of the youngest developer in Kazakhstan. Kazmotos, a Kazakh search engine, will find your car spare parts with no intermediaries involved. Echelon KZ Qualify has come to a close in Almaty. Asian experts selected the best projects that will represent Kazakhstan at Echelon Asia Summit 2016 in summer in Singapore. Want to know who the winner is? Then watch our special coverage. Almaty developers have created their first ever robot assistant. Balbo is a nanny, security guard and your personal fitness trainer. Thanks to the built-in camera and sensors, the robot moves in the premises with ease, registering what happens around and transmits the video to your mobile device screens. You want to make sure that everything is all right at home, so you can connect to the robot via your phone and see what's going on there. And it's also integrated with all home systems. This is the robot's fifth prototype. The developers spent seven arduous months making it. All this time, Balbo was being modified with new functions added. Now the developers are working on how to install a night vision camera and custom program the robot. The Kazakh robot's price starts from $130 and changes depending on its configuration. It's too early to talk about the mass market yet, but the developers have shown the robot at the Kazakh stage of Echelon Qualifier to international experts who came to select top projects that will represent Kazakhstan at Echelon Asia Summit in Singapore. A total of 40 bids were filed, only 21 of them were accepted for pitching and just 5 will eventually travel to Singapore. We have five main criteria. The first, what problems a startup solves. Second, technical aspects of the development, team background, marketing plans and future market launch. The jury made its verdict after the project's presentation. iDocs, a platform to reduce paper document flow. Gift Sensor, a gift selection service. Amis, a smart house project. Bindline, video messaging service. And Balbo, Robot, were among the winners. I think they were impressed by the robot itself, maybe its character. It looks great and it's a hardware project and there are a few of them. This is what grasped their attention. All finalists will not just represent Kazakhstan at the largest tech conference of the Central Asia. They will get an opportunity to meet the world's major investors and launch their projects globally. Timur Respekov is a developer of the world's fastest calculator. Our IT calculator system has over 1.5 million downloads and counting, and Microsoft wants to use it for its computing software. We checked out what makes this calculator unique and what other projects the youngest programmer has in hand. Since his early childhood, Timur was fascinated by mathematics and by his 15, his passion for science yielded phenomenal results. He now holds patents and intellectual property rights for 40 technologies and 3 developments. The world's fastest calculator, our IT Calculate system, which uniqueness was corroborated by Microsoft, is just one of them. My calculator's competitive edge is that it uses regularities, not ordinal values. For example, we input figures in the graph and we get the result in microseconds. 
И за не, не, несколько макросекунд он может вывести автоответ. Another important feature is that the calculator can solve math, physics, and geometry problems. You input the initial statement of the problem and get the result in seconds. Among the calculator's extra options are logical internet search, random number selection, and very high-speed computer management. The project was showcased at the national phase of the International Robotics Olympics, though it wasn't awarded. Professors who were on jury said that no kid could make this kind of a product, so Timur's team got back as wise as it went from this project. But I actually believe that it's great because now we're sure that Timur's project is way higher the level our national experts can, in their wisdom, grasp. Timur's approach to creation of this project is also quite interesting. Neural connections that the young prodigy used have created new opportunities for practical application of artificial intelligence. Currently, self-learning computer technologies are tested for English language learning in one of the Almaty high schools. I think the discovery of his came just about time, because yesterday a Toronto University Scientific Professional Board ruled that it's a scientific discovery. Despite his outstanding programming, Timur's cup of tea is robotics. While the world's leading universities officially declare his works a scientific discovery, he is getting ready for another robotics championship. Each car owner has faced an issue with finding a right spare part for his car at least once. Just remember all these annoying and time-consuming visits to a spare parts bazaar and telephone calls with parts suppliers. Kazakh's developers solved this problem by making a specialized search engine for car owners, which combines two business models, the B2B and B2C. We will tell you how efficient this new system is and on our market section. Aigirim Jambil is a newbie car owner. From time to time, her car breaks down, which is a sure headache for a girl. However, for over a month, her problems are solved in just one click, thanks to digital technology. I find it convenient that I don't have to go to spare part bazaars or spend days googling a part I need. This comfort is now available thanks to Almaty's startups who developed an app that turns your smartphone into a virtual spare parts market. The app directly connects buyers and sellers. All a buyer needs to do is type information on his or her car and spare part they are looking for and these and wait for seller's offer. Toyota Camry headlights, great, I will be there in a minute, thank you. Six months and a million tenge were spent to make this app. We have over 6,000 active users now and we have posted over 8,000 requests with 80 to 85 percent of being successful. That is, people found what they were looking for. B2B model is used to capitalize on the app, with monthly seller subscription being 2,000 tenge. The price depends on the user's activity and the number of replied requests, that is, every request answered by a seller's being a certain amount of money in the developer's project. Now we get much more requests through the app. Everyone nowadays uses the internet, and we benefit from this as more people use the app. The project was showcased in scope of the European phase of the startup roadshow with Skolkova Foundation experts evaluation. Back then, the app got the IT Tech Award and will travel to the International Startup Village contest, which will be held in Moscow, and will provide our guys with opportunities to find investors in CIS countries and expand to the geographical presence of our service. Our time is up, which means that the world of startups and I, Seri Kokyshev, have to say goodbye for now. See you in a week on Kazakh TV.